Good morning, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Market opens up here in about 12 minutes. BA on Boeing here, 184 is what I'm very, very curious about. And right now it's looking like the price is teetering right on the edge of maybe close, or excuse me, opening up down below it. Um, and there we go. So now all of a sudden, let me get my annotation. This is all live, by the way, so this is happening as I record the video. This is not a voiceover or anything. So right there, I mean the bid just went down below 184 and the offer now below 184. So hopefully it can bounce back up, but <laughs> this is this is my number one uh, candidate that I wanted to keep an eye on. In fact, you know, made a specific alert for it. Let me grab that out of the chat room real quick so you can just kind of see right here. So right here you can see uh, BA 184 flush point, assuming price opens above, and right now the price looking like it might not open above, because it's slightly down below the 184 mark. But like I said, it's still got at this point 11 minutes for the price to hopefully recover back up above 184, because that's the main level that uh, myself and members are watching, and we'll see if it can do that or not. But that's kind of the current game plan right now. And um, if something happens pre-market, I'll get the video rolling again. If not, I'll just see it back up to the open. All right, market opens up here in less than one minute and Boeing recovered very nicely to get up above 184. Um, I actually revised the flush point uh, to this 184.50 mark. Well, that happened way too fast, so never mind on that. We'll watch 184, but based on where it opened, I just can't do 184. That would be too much of a chase at this point. But if it can bottom out, come on, bounce from 184. There we go. Nice, good. So this candle needs to stay above 184. If it can do that, I like it very much. But this candle's gotta stay above it for this first minute here. No, 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 go back up. So let's see how this plays out. I wanna see it stay up above. All right, good, good. Looking like we got a good chance of it staying up above. And this one minute candle should be done pretty soon. All right, good, we are out of the woods. Very nice, so much so that I'm gonna go to 184.50 now, which was that original area. So if it looks like it wants to break down below 184.50, Okay, well, good. Now we're getting a bounce, so this is getting that much better here. Okay, watching. Okay, in, looking for the break of the 184, 50-ish area. What is that? 184, 65-ish, so more so 184, 65-ish. Let's see if we can get the push down through that area. I like the candle that formed quite a bit. Can it get down through that area? That's gonna be the key question. Ooh, it's 184.50. So the big question becomes, did I, did I jump the gun? I'm trying to anticipate the break, but was I right to anticipate the break? That is the big question right now. And looking like I was. Can we get down below 184? So took some off the table now. I have 100 shares. But I wanna see if this thing can get down below 184. Well, that might have been the bounce, but I'm not gonna give up on it yet. Make my life is easier now that I've taken some profits off the table. But markets are pulling back right now, which should help me. So I'm just watching the markets right now, and if they keep on coming down, then I'm gonna hold, 
and the markets are pulling back. There we go, so it took another 100 off. Putting my stop loss at 180, what happened? What did I just do? Oh, I still had excellent, even better news. All right, I accidentally took some off, but that's okay. So my stop for my final 150 is at 180, let's see, we need to bring that down some more. So at this point, I'm in the best spot possible as a trader, not if I make money, but how much money am I gonna make? Because I have no idea how far down this thing wants to go. Okay, so I'm out there for $460, absolutely beautiful, and I mean, you, you pretty much saw and witnessed the entire thought process of the trade, not only that, how I walked uh, members through it. And I bring that up just because a lot of questions I get all the time is, okay, Clay, I always hear you typing on your keyboard. How does this all work? Actually, I gotta get Roku alerted real quick, then I'll show you. Again, this is not a voiceover, this is live. Uh, so here is how that whole trade ultimately worked out. Uh, so right here you can see, this is the chat room, but right there, BA originally alerted the 184, and you heard me talking about the 184. And then right here, that was right before the market opened, revising the flush point. Flush, just think about what do you hear, what do you, what word do you, or what direction do you think of when you hear flush? Hopefully you're saying down. Let me put it this way, if you flush the toilet and it goes up, uh, you have a problem on your hands. So flush point meaning we wanted to see the price go down, which reminds me, if you're brand new and just getting started in the markets as a, a trader, believe it or not, you can make money when prices go down. That is known as shorting, going short, being a short, uh, you know, sh any variation. But yes, you can make money when values go down, as you just witnessed. So if you're confused, wait, Clay, how are you making money when Boeing is falling and falling? Because I went short on it, and that's how that works. Uh, but like I said, you saw the uh, revision right down there. Then I alerted it again, the dead cat, dead cat meaning a dead cat bounce, and all the dead cat bounces, something begins to bounce like Boeing did, right? You saw it bouncing, but you believe it to be just a failure, not a true bounce, and you're gonna looking for it to roll back over, which is exactly what happened, and you saw me get in up above uh, the 180, I got in at 184.70, so like I said, I was anticipating the break, and uh, it can be easily argued that those people that waited for the break uh, you know, they, they probably maybe played a little bit better. I was taking on, now sure I made more money because I got a better entry point, but I, I was also taking on a bit more risk because I didn't quite have that confirmation. But uh, point here being, that is how members could have made money with me right there on Boeing and you saw the entire trade play out. So good, I'm actually super excited about that from the, the video perspective. That's a great real life learning example of not, not only just kind of trading with charts and level twos, but how trading with a, a community can work. Uh, because if you're, sometimes people miss out on things, I miss out on things, but when you trade and surround yourself with the community, um, then yeah, you can uh, work, or things can work out very nicely. But um, maybe I'll try another trade, but I mean, $460 and let's see, I got into the trade at 931, so we'll just call it, you can see I was out at 934, meaning made $460 in less than five minutes, so I don't know, I might just call it a day. I mean, a five minute work day, I'd be happy with that. And look at Boeing continue to go down, regardless that little move there. Well, it's always good to say things in hindsight, how you would have played it, and how you would have made the perfect trade, but I'm totally happy with that. I gotta get this one alerted. All right, and shares to short, interesting. I have no idea if this is realistic or not but I'm going down to 100 shares now. Why am I doing 100 shares? Well, I am, like I said, very nicely green, um, and there's no way I wanna give back my gains. Uh, so sure, with 100 shares, I may not make nearly as much, but if I'm wrong and it goes against me, well, actually, I'd like more than 100 shares on this one. I'd like to build a bigger position, just seeing how overextended it is. But regardless, by just starting off with 100 shares on a $25 stock, that gives myself a whole lot of flexibility. But uh, if this thing does not get up to 2650, then I'll probably just call it call it a day, and like I said, move on with my day. I'm not a greedy savage, 460 bucks for less than five minutes. I'm more than happy with that. But yeah, like I said, let's see if this wants to get up to 2650. Well, NVTA uh, has pulled back now, and that's what I was actually looking for, so I'm not interested in this one. But uh, again, just uh, an example there of a member that did take it, uh, the trade with me. 
So right there you can see they got in. So they waited for a little bit more and they uh, were waiting for that. So they anticipated the break too, but like I said, they waited until it actually got a little bit closer to 184.50. Uh, but you can see from that point, uh, you know, and again, they sold, so again, if you're new, with shorting, you sell first and then you buy, but they sold there and you can see scaled out of the position really nicely and then looks like they were stopped out for the last remaining five shares, well down below the entry point. Uh, so fantastic move uh, for that member there and nice way to, to start things off. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up. If you are interested in getting alerts like I just showed you here, then you can join my uh, private community. Just go to claycharter.com forward slash team. And really the way to approach that pricing is it's $99, we'll use this structure for three months. So not $99 per month, I'll say that again, not $99 per month, but just $99 for three months, which breaks down to $8.25 per week. So the question really becomes, all right, if I invest eight, you know, or if I invest $99 for three months, do I believe I can get you know at least $8.25 worth of value every single week? I would like to think that you can get $8.25 per week of value every single week. So that's how uh, you know I would uh, approach that. But overall, not only do you get the live alerts like you said here, but I also send out a weekly newsletter for my personal scans. And then there's a mobile app too, which I know a lot of people care about because they don't wanna be changer their computer like myself. Like I said, that's why I'm wrapping it up here after a very quick day. But overall, uh, that is how you can join. But for me, like I said, one trade, less than five minutes, $460. I'm no greedy savage. I'm more than happy with that. I'm gonna uh, continue on with my day. So hopefully you decided to join. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Comments, questions, suggestions, leave those down below. I always do read the comments and I will reply to them. And if you've watched any of my past videos and look through the comment section, you'll see that, yeah, I, I do reply. And then finally, check out the channel as a whole. And if you like what you see, then hopefully you decide to subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber to the channel. But thanks, take care, and uh, hopefully you decide to uh, give the community a try. We'd love to have you. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.